Hey guys, Omni here. We are back for episode three of season six of Supergirl. This is again, the final season of the show. And yeah, I think so far it's been pretty good. Pretty decent. Definitely compared to last season for Christ's sake, Jesus. Anyway, um, last episode, Kara is still trying to survive in the Phantom Zone, got rescued by a familiar face from her past. Her father apparently is still alive this entire time being trapped in the Phantom Zone by, in his, as his way of surviving the destruction of Krypton. So now he and Kara are trying to figure out their own way from the inside to get out of the Phantom Zone, while on the outside, uh, the super team are trying to figure out how to get Kara out. They divide, get the help of uh, this vampire, while well, he's a alien species from a planet of like Transylvain or something like that. I can't remember. And apparently his people is what inspired the myths of the beings known as vampires. But anyway, they get his help who he's made, he's successfully broken into the Phantom Zone before and they want his help to build another machine so they could try to do the same. That is pretty much the whole case of this episode is them trying to get in there while Lex is on trial for his previous crimes and gets off on a just just <laughs> telling it how it is and playing to, I guess, the complete lack of evidence or physical so that they had and was for their entire, for their entire uh, case against him for whatever reason. So now he's out free. People think he's good. Now people, now Lena's in trouble because while trying to bring him down, she admitted to a bunch of things that she was involved for, uh, with and having come directly from her mouth. Now she's not in some good light. Now she's in some doo-doo because uh, as a, just as a consequence of trying to take down Lex at this point, but it's it's all over the place, but I, I, I dig it. I like that whole interaction with them in the courtroom. It got really nice. Just the performances between those two, you know, Lena and Lex, man, and going back and forth at each other. I really like that. You know, just getting worked up. The Phantom Zone bits, I really enjoyed. Um, we definitely see the outside team trying to struggle with uh, this challenge of getting Kara back. I, I liked it, and especially with Brainy, who's pushing Nia to hone in on her powers more because they're going to need it to get in there and locate where Kara is if they are to successfully navigate the uh, the Phantom Zone when they get in. But lo and behold, they finally do break in, and something they didn't calculate for was that the effect some more effects of crisis, the crisis because of the nature of what the phantom zone is, has just collided all kinds of fucking phantom zones together into one place. So it, what they thought was the map of it is just not because now it's just kind of bajillions of them intersected and ever changing and blah, 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 science stuff. So yeah, it failed. Gate gets destroyed. A phantom survives on the outside somehow living in a gas form inside the vampire dude. And thus, now we have some phantoms who have actually escaped the phantom zone. There we go. Absolutely. We're caught up. Anyway, guys, full unedited reactions are available over on Patreon, or if you become a member here on the channel, whichever one's easier for you, got the full reaction watch-alongs for this, uh, every other DC show we're covering, every show we're covering that we've at least started this year forward is over there full length if you want to check those out. Woo, let's go ahead and dive into episode three. Here we go. And go. What happened? He's alive. At least. We didn't send all the phantoms back to the phantom zone. One got out. You ready to catch a ride? What the hell? They end up in one of the other phantom realities. Is that what it is? The hell? What the fuck? Coming over the ridge, are there? 
They took my father. I have to go rescue him. No! Well, but first we have to get you and that leg somewhere safe. Mm. How does it feel to be a free man? Up oh, in a word, beautiful. Well, Rhonda, it feels wrong. Because I'm a madman who should be in prison. I want to say thank you. Not you. My future wouldn't be so bright. You shouldn't have a future. You shouldn't even be able to mm. sleep at night. You should be haunted by a Kryptonian heart beating beneath your floorboards. Brady, Alice, we need thermal blankets. God so, damn. What happened to but you were the one who reminded me to act like a soldier, not a father. Alex needs to do the same right now. And not only did we fail to save Supergirl, but I let a phantom escape into this world. I won't make the same mistake again. <laughs> when I landed on Earth, I was alone. My adoptive mother raised Aww, me Oh, she's watching her recording. Loss oh, is different for everyone, but it hurts the same. And I will sit with you right here. I can't breathe. Everything seems dark. That's when we show up for those who need us the most. Oh, God. That's thoroughly unpleasant surprise. Good morning, sis. But your time at Lethal Corp is over. Uh. <laughs> See, I had a feeling it was you. Uh, the firewalls were spectacular, by the way. Uh, let me guess, the Kaluan helped you out with that? Cute prank, sis. Now undo it. Be wary of opening with the Queen's Gambit, sis. Such an obvious first move. This isn't over. It never is. <laughs> That's his soul. Oh, shit. No. I hope they fix that. I hope they get him back, man. I liked him. Oh, he got his little smirk. Oh, no. Damn. Alex just froze completely. Activated kinetic inhibitor can be triggered from up to a mile away, keeping us at a safe distance so that we don't also become infected. I'll begin constructing makeup work on that thing's pretty good, pretty cool, pretty good. How can you just march on like nothing is wrong? Because marching is the only way to get her back. Mm. They're going to sacrifice him to a terrible creature that lives deep in Shadow Lake. What? But the it hell? doesn't feed until it's lapped the lake 11 times, which gives us enough time to make a plan. No, I can't waste any more time. Ah! You, know, you really should let me make you a splint. You must have made one hell of a criminal. I'm not a criminal. Hmm. Sure. And I'm a princess. <laughs> I was sent here by a madman. I think I can help. Gosh, who is this man? Oh! Do you know many names? Just <laughs> one. His name is Mixie Spillick. <laughs> you know Mixie. <laughs> Kai is a wild card. Yeah, maybe I, I could use that one after all. <laughs> I didn't think they could be trapped in the Phantom Zone, though. There's a bit of an emergency at the tower. Your hologram multitasking again. <laughs> Your tech city need more help with Operation Vengeance. You and I are going to funnel the money directly to the Luther Wing of National City's Children's Hospital instead. Do you think you can hack into this account and make that happen? I'm not exaggerating when I say that nothing would delight me more. <laughs> it's done. I have to go. Where's my god? She said that she was going on patrol. Yeah, who, who would have saw that coming? Yep. Let's do it. Uh, can I say in more? I fucking love John's new suit. Also, Alex. Oh, well, what? God damn it. They'll be keeping your father in a cave right at the top. She looks familiar, too. But I can't quite... 
like place where if at all my full name is princess nix lakers midlands wait you're actually a princess not all fathers send you away to save your life you don't belong here just as much as i don't so we should get some sleep you are easy to trust who knows it could be oh, she could be full of shit oh that was a genuine smile though God. Dude. God damn. Lex is a fucking madman. I love it. She never thought to try that before. I mean, if she's like trustworthy enough to fix her leg, could be a means to an end, but we'll see. All I could think about was your encouragement. Oh. I had to rid myself of my father's shackles, both the metaphorical and the physical. <laughs> Hmm. Ever since the Phantom Zone fractured, I started to get these flashes, like fake memories. Oh, uh, her past lives, the other timelines, the previous life. This place, it can be very crisis. That's why I rescued you. I've got a good feeling about you. your father <laughs> I hate his voice I hate his suits I hate his never ending games of depravity I wish he would just die I wish we could kill him we should kill him we could craft no, a fuck. Murder. from there we'll finish him you choose the method he's your brother <laughs> but just make it slow okay and after that we'll dismember the body oh my the pieces god of the universe. I know exactly which planets of atmospheres with pressures high enough to decompose carbon <laughs> in an instant this time there will be no Lex resurrection Wait, he can't kill Lex why not ever since I've removed my personality inhibitors I I have been overwhelmed by the depth of my emotions seeping out burning me like acid and mm. all I want to do is help you destroy him Lena I... it's okay to feel rage you just gotta let it out and then let it go This worked at least. What are those for? For being my rock today. I was your rock. <laughs> Move in with me. Because life is crazy and it's unpredictable, and all that really matters is that we share the little things with the people that we love. So, what do you say? 
Yes. No. So, what's next for the man who has everything? I go get more. What the, uh, what the fuck? Where's he going? It makes it super easy to find you. <laughs> Cora, I'm getting you out. Thank you for your help. Oh, don't sweat <laughs> it. Maybe there's a safer way to travel through portals without catching a ride with a phantom. You mean my magic? Hmm. You think I could do it? Oh. <laughs> Uh, let's hope that doesn't backfire. I don't want to be putting any faith in somebody that we don't, that we shouldn't be. No. Oh my God. Okay. I gotta say, man, I know this was very focused on the phantoms on Kara in there on Lena and her back and forth with Luther. Uh, there were some cheesy bits here and there, but I don't know. I don't know, guys. This, I mean, we're three episodes in. It's a, this is probably my favorite episode of Supergirl in a really long time. The interaction between Brainy and Lena and their unified efforts against Lex, I really enjoyed. The way they address Brainy's uh, emotional inhibitors being broken off and how this constant fight and losing against Lex is just getting to him, pushing him over the edge. And when they were like actually contemplating how they could murder Lex, I was like, oh my God, is this happening? Uh, the whole phantom thing was interesting. I think the practical effects and the CGI on them are really cool. And just seeing them like multiply and just kind of spread and how that whole thing progresses. I don't know if there's a way to reverse the transformation though, because I hope I hope so. They kind of made it seem like there was it though with Begone. However, they did seem like they could, the soul go somewhere. And if they can get that energy back, would they be able to return her or Silas back to normal? That's what I want to know. I don't know. Um, Lena just dropping the whole fight with Lex. Lex lives off of this game, this back and forth off of somebody. When it's not Superman, he needs somebody to fixate on. And... I wonder if Lena realized that if it's not really against herself and maybe this is a move. Uh, I want to believe her. But I think uh, that the easiest way to get him to unravel is to stop playing his game. Let him do what he does. And when he's got no one to play with, no one's just playing with him. He's going to create his own problems. And it seems like it's already starting off. He's like, what was the guy who wants everything? Who has everything? What's he do now? He's like, gotta get more stuff. And he portals off to somewhere. And then on top of that whole thing, everything going on there, I like the, uh, the stuff with Alex and her, you know, dealing with this loss and the depression and the powerlessness that come, kind of comes with that, that heavy weight that comes down and seeing how her and John are both handling it differently. You know, him taking quite literally what McGon said last episode to heart and pushing forward and, just not really matching. The seeing like the negatives of both sides of that. And then of course, I'm not following her own advice and going off and getting herself infected. Good job. Um, I really liked how the whole thing played out. I like seeing a lot more of Kelly and uh, their interactions. Hell yeah. Um, and then the Phantom Zone stuff, man. With Nixie, I, I don't know her full name. It's not like I. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not going to try to even attempt it. Any, I'm just going to call her Nixie. I, I really like that interaction, though. Like, she's remembering a life before crisis. Like, and then she's got her post-crisis life. Which one of those was she? The useless princess that was cast away into this place. And was she was she. She seems to have been here since before the fracturing and crisis. But she's got overlapping memories where things were different before the imprisonment. So, what does that tell us? Not much. Could one of those lives have actually legitimately got her imprisoned in there? We don't know just yet. 
in there it's a lot harder to distinguish what is real what's not so if she realizes one thing or another we she could go kind of either way with that though she definitely got her magic she's got she's helping him i didn't i was under the impression that fifth dimensional beings don't adhere to the laws of all of this stuff so like I, how she got restrained i mean it could be fifth dimensional technology obviously if she came from the fifth dimension where she was from maybe that was able to re repress her abilities but I mean, without that, I mean, she should be able to just bamf out of the Phantom Zone on its own, right? I'm pretty sure that they they transcend even the Phantom Zone if they wanted to, but they, I could be wrong about that, but I was under the impression that they are pretty much above any realm of reality within our dimension, which includes the Phantom Zone. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I like that back and forth. I like how we don't know fully, but she seems very, like, inviting welcoming warm and genuine about her excitement and thrill that somebody believes in her at all and i like that it makes me really want to be endeared to her and not to have that betrayed <laughs> but we'll see where that goes who knows she could end up being the big bad next i don't know fuck me uh, who knows man but i really liked every bit of this episode guys i really did I think this is my I, I think this is my one of my favorite episodes in a long time. <laughs> it's got all the favorite just some got solid interactions from some of my favorite characters in this. Like seeing Lena and um and uh Brainy go at it like that. I I really dug it and then just everything else coalesced into uh just a good time, man. Anyway, that's about my thoughts on this episode, guys. Sound off the comments. Let me know yours so we can carry on the conversation after the video. Remember, full edited reactions are available over on Patreon or become a member here on the channel. Huge shout out to our patron legends, Mandy Sherrod, Antoine Rodriguez, and Ryan Karen. Thank you guys so much for your support. Join our Discord if you want to talk about the show, if you want to talk about this, any of the other shows. We got channels for each one, spoiler channels and non-spoiler, just in case you're not caught up yet. But come hang out. Anyway, that's all I've got for right now. I will catch you guys in the next episode of Supergirl. Take care, everybody.